Hi, so I am installing the events calendar here uh, on my uh, website to show you how it works. So my website, the one I'm going to try now, it's very simple. It's this one. And we're just going to create a page that we're going to call it events and we're going to use this plugin to do it. Okay, now let's see. Um, it is installed. So here it is, the events calendar. I'm going to activate it. So here it has created a menu on the side uh, that it's called events right under posts. And yeah, uh, I have created a demo event here. So let's edit, let's see what I have made. Um, so just write the name and you just write here a description, yeah? And you put the da the time and the date. So this event, it's starting, okay, when do you want it to start? Now we're in July, let's see the 13th of July and it can, and it is a only one day event. Uh, let's say it is two days event, all day event, you can set times also like from one or something to 2.30 yeah and here you have venues edit venue okay open the new you can write okay arena update here it has the address um so show map okay based on the address here you write the address city country okay yeah uh, postal code and everything it generates a code I suppose so here on the events you write the description here the name of the event the time and the date the location organizers my organizers edit organizer I'm just gonna click on it so you can write okay the name of the organizer name is it a person is it a company organizer nice and um, name update if I'm just uh, I'm going to update it to refresh it and see if it comes up um, find the organizer okay yeah name okay uh, is it there an event website event cost currency symbol ah, you can write manually if it's not not that uh, if it's a dollar or if it's a euro yeah the cost uh, I don't see it accepting payments, but it's just for information only. And we're going to update it and we're going to view the event. It has all the details here, all events. So it generates a list here. I like that list or uh, you can click on the month and you see it like this. And you can go on a day, no events schedule, go to the next one. But at least it has a nice, uh, let's, let's make another one. Yeah. So we just go back to dashboard and I'm going to go to events and I'm going to click add new here and I'm going to do event two and this is the description of the event. Um, and here we have the dates. Let's say that it have, takes place the 17th. I'm going to put it an all day event. Or maybe, I mean, if it's a concert, it starts at 7 and it finishes at midnight. I'm just saying, is it a conference? It starts at 12 and it ends at 3 or it's a morning conference? Or is it an all day event like festivals? But then again, I mean, you know, doors open at seven, uh, something like that. I don't know. Yes. Uh, venue, you can select the venues, the arena, I've written it's an arena or whatever. But you can create more venues. And here you see them, uh, event categories, venues, um, so organizers. So you can have different venues, different organizers, uh, websites, currency symbol costs, uh, everything the same. Uh, and you can set an image also. Let's put an image. Uh, publish. View event. I'm going to click event. Uh, all events. 
and you access all events, it creates a URL at, you know, uh, events. So, and here we have a list of the events and we can now either have it in a month, but here we just see, oh, it highlights the dates. So this is the list. Um, yeah, that is cool. Yes, so this is how you use the events calendar plugin. Very easy to use, very simple, straightforward, uh, straightforward. And it gives you like generates a list and it gives you the map and the information and everything. So it's very good. Hope you enjoyed it. This little tutorial. If you liked uh, this little tutorial, hit the like button, subscribe for more tutorials like this, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.